we had an episode planned. Mm-hmm. Not anymore. But what? you know what they say? What? what? The best things in life. Welcome to the Degawit Table. It's the Tabletop Podcast. Podcast. Uh, hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, uh, we are all... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to silence our phone right now. So everyone in the oh, studio, yeah. you can silence your phone. Thank yeah, you very much. Yeah, welcome back to wow, the wow, podcast. Wow. Wow. What? <laughs> yeah, good job. Wow. <laughs> we need to make a herzy soundboard. What did I need to do this? You yeah, that, is true, that is true. Yeah. That welcome is true. back to the podcast. If this is your first time listening, I don't know what the F you've been doing with your life. Okay. If it's not, then you know the drill. Okay. What's the drill? What's the drill? Like, subscribe, and share. Yeah. And comment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But on Spotify, we're yeah. shutting the show down, lah. We don't know what to do anymore, dear. And it's guys. all your fault, okay? Oh, oh. Okay, 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 listen, okay. listen, why, listen. Why? Okay, okay, okay. This is the problem with all the audience on, on the online sphere right now. They don't understand the currency of Matrix, okay? You oh. have your favorite content creators, your favorite, nothing you can find traditionally in the 2000s, but because YouTube. Social media has given this platform for creators to create content oh. that you resonate with. And the least you could do is like, share, subscribe so that they can have the numbers, so that they can pitch it to clients and then they can sustain their team True. and finance their business. But True. you don't even want to do that these days. True. The audacity for you. So when you're left with content from traditional media oh. that you like, oh, Lamar, this kind of thing not fun only. Don't talk about the things we talk about only. Don't resonate with the things True. I resonate only. Salah siapa? Salah siapa? <laughs> Hashtag that Salah siapa. Salah siapa Welcome to the table Once Hi. again It's Herzy Hi well, You've been This is the first time You've been in this studio So thank you for blessing us With that intro Oh yeah that's yeah. What a great intro that Would is. you like to introduce yourself? Mm, apparently I have to Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> that is the state, That's the state Of the world we're in right now yeah, Thank yeah. you Rachel yeah. Hi Herzy Who are you? No worries uh, My name is Herzy <laughs> I am 34 years old already Why are you okay. only? What? I've been in the internet For 15 years now We're crossing Second decade already guys oh my That's God. nuts right? I remember your Yo, that's well. Farewell show As clear as day Oh I cried it, It's been 5 years ago Yeah that Wow Capital Theatre Singapore If yeah. you guys weren't there You obviously Obviously Young as shit la, That's what you guys are <laughs> <laughs> Missed one of the The biggest chapters Of the golden era Oh, of yeah. one, one, I think when the curtain closed on that one, right? We all just like, uh, what, what are we doing? It's, call, call it a day, guys. Yeah, yeah, that's when we started. I swear, this. that was the year we stopped making videos, bro. Yeah, it was, actually. <laughs> that was hey, not- Sorry, why are you laughing? Sorry, producers are laughing <laughs> there. Was <laughs> it? It was, right, Vivian? 2018. 18. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think after that, TMT, like, mingled like, subconsciously is like, right for what? We're not going to capital. I, I stopped with the lights that turn off in the theater. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I think, I think people need context. Yes, if they sorry, don't know. sorry, 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 sorry. Yes. Like 2018. Mm. 2018, Muna Hirsi finally ended a tenure, uh, tenure on YouTube yeah. with mm. a big ass stage show where we performed all our favorite parodies, put up all our favorite characters, and it was basically, amazing. It was a swan song. La. So there was a live show. <laughs> yes, there was a live show. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was our swan song. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, it, it was us to say goodbye to our favorite. Yeah. characters, favorite memories, yes. favorite fans, and mm. even favorite collaborators. We got everyone to like, hey, can you, you guys want to come down? We really want to say goodbye to you all. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And I think people up to that day thought we were joking about leaving you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't joke. think anyone believed that. Mm -mm. Well, it's been five years now. Do you believe? Yes. But you're back. It's, yes. a, it's the wrong time to say it because you. Yes, also. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a reunion year. Yeah. It's, oh. it's what it is. And right, nothing right. lasts. So mm -hmm. it's really oh. up to the followers to decide how long do you want this reunion tenure yeah, like to this. last also? Yeah, yeah. I, I think, if anything, you need to remember the years you grew up with your favorite YouTubers, hmm. how many of them are no longer around? Oh. How many yeah. of them created memories for you that you no longer have? So, them. That's actually a, an in a really interesting point because yeah. I, I, I mean, as some of the audience and the team knows, you know, we've been diving first into this TikTok era. Oh, yeah. Into this era of, people say lah, last time on YouTube, like 15 seconds important, the first 15 seconds. Now it's the first three. Now or it's the first, only 15 seconds. Or the right? first two, right? It's crazy. I had a very interesting conversation the other day because I think I was like at lunch or something and I got pulled aside by, hey, I grew up with your videos. Shit. And I'm like, me too. Because I don't know what to reply to most of these people who say it. Because I don't want to, like, I grew up watching you too. I can't say that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but one interesting thing happened was, it's like, I asked this, this uh, couple, right? 
I'm like, do you guys actually sit down nowadays and talk about the TikTok videos that you watched and are dear to you? Mm. And a very common, Gee, yeah, a no. common thought, right, was kids nowadays or like TikTok sharing, right? It's like, I'll share you 15 videos. But what really put aside the last era was, I remember so clearly, like even some of my friends who are not YouTubers, but in the scene talk about, we were able to talk about a video that we liked that happened and became a bookmark for something in our lives. But nowadays, do you talk about the last TikTok video you, video you shared like in that fond way? No. I, I, I think hmm. I have an explanation or theory behind this. Let's right? hear it. So when we started YouTube, it was a disruptor. Yes. It was because we were creators first. Our ambitions was TV, was film, true, true. was commercials. Mm. Uh, and YouTube was a training ground for that, for at least at that point in time, what we thought was a training yeah, ground yeah. for that. Mm. Uh, and so when we created those passion projects, it was really for us to... Practice. It's like a gym for us yeah, to yeah, train. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. We really wanted to, yeah, to, 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 that, mm, yeah. to do that. Uh, and, and that's why we didn't create content. We created bodies of work. Oh, yo. Yeah. Until today, I'll remember Cardboard Series. Do you know oh, what I mean? Like, oh. And for people to resonate with bodies of work, like an archive of an era, mm. it's different from that one funny thing that went viral for a week. Oh. Uh, and, and their generation looked at us and grew up with us be because they thought, oh my God, look, I can be popular. I can be viral. The viral yeah. outweighs the, I have this creative True. ambition. Uh, and I'm not saying that they're wrong or that it, it, there's no weight to what they do, but I just wish that more creators now are more intentional with what they put out. Oh, yeah. damn. It's, it, is it a different, I mean, it's a different chase now, right? And it's not even generational now. Like any millennial now yeah, it's true. are just chasing It's not. It's yeah. numbers. They're not chasing. Even if you're like mm. my age coming into the game now, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You're like, uh, I just What's want the, the numbers. Yeah, what, is it really the game just a numbers is, game now? The game is wherever... Whatever's hot. Lah. So if it's like TikTok, mm. you know? If it's a sound. Uh, yeah. Uh, so when when we dropped this Epic Mina podcast surprise, mm. right? I wanted to know how do I reach out to an audience that, mm, you know, has lost us for five years. How do I remake this noise? Mm -hmm. And what I tried to do was just tease them the nostalgia of Muna Hirzi old snippets that no longer has access on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. And these kids are going crazy, yeah. which made me realize one thing. You shouldn't have unlisted the video. No, that was a very good move, actually. <laughs> there is power in the currency of legacy. There is right, power right. in the currency of intentional bodies of work. Yeah. Because when people remember that, people will disappear from it for a few years, come back with it, and you still, still sort of have an in into the... Actually, that's true. Yeah. yeah. People nowadays, I would say, I mean, I don't know where this is going. To be honest, guys, Bella and Vivian scra scrapped the script totally for today's episode because Herzi was like, you know what? Let's talk about something oh, Herzi wants to talk about. Sorry. But no, it's it's right. it's good. It's right. I think people nowadays, so back on the topic, people nowadays create for the moment compared to creating for something that will last. Damn. Yeah. You get what I mean? Like, like I, I remember clients sitting down and telling me, oh, let's hop on this sound trend. Let's hop on that sound mm. trend. And I'm like, why don't we just do something memorable? Why don't we mm -hmm. just do, why don't we just birth things that is creative and passionately ours? Yeah. Mm -mm. Why must we be referencing when we can be the reference? Oh, but it is, it is a game <laughs> now. Bella having a head One, one of the so biggest good. things, I think, I think we talked about a bit, right, <laughs> was last time, right, if you're YouTube and I copy your video, mm. It's like, how dare you? Like, why would you copy my script? Yeah. But nowadays, everyone wants to trend. Do everyone, that sound. Yeah, yeah why? Yeah. Like that shift kind of is the sign that, you know. It's made it easier change. for them, I guess. And I honestly do not blame this generation or this batch of creators. Mm -mm. I think it's highly influenced by who is directing the technologies and the money. Also monies. true, also true, also algorithm, true. Algorithm, okay. for people who don't understand algorithm, mm. imagine it to be this way. Okay? There's mm. a highway. Okay. Okay, everyone's on this mm. highway yes. to get to the destination they want. Yes. Uh, back then, there were like five YouTubers. Five YouTubers cross this highway. The traffic is not heavy. Uh, we all see. Everyone, yeah. you know, you if you're good, you get noticed. If you're not good, you will just pass the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But right now, there's such a cramp of traffic going yep, through yeah. this highway. They have to prioritize who they want to put forward. That's yeah, true. Who, yeah. wants they want, who they want to put on the FYP, who they want to give the boost to on, on your timeline feed. Mm. And so, 
everything becomes a money game. What is sexy? What will help my platform grow? Yeah, yeah. Versus like organically people finding their favorite content. Back then, if you were found, you were good. Yeah, it's true. You were good because it That's was a true. word of mouth spread. That's yeah. true. You didn't need an FYP. You didn't need algorithm boosting you. So mm -mm. I hope all creators remember that about themselves and not to feel the pressure of like, oh my God, I, I, I must know what's the next trend. Yeah. That's it though. I mm. think mathematically we can study strategies. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And then what I like about what you're doing- What I do? With your red flag oh. is you are staying true to your, to your DNA. <laughs> you are staying true to who you've grown to become now. Oh yeah. You, you updated yourself basically. Complainy uncle. Authentically you, while reformatting to yeah. an audience who are now consuming you differently. True, yeah. true, true, true. And I think that is the math every older generation of creators need to wonder. Damn, shout out Natasha and Jeremy. Yeah, so shout Natasha out, right here, she mm. is the comedy behind the edits. I see. Like I keep on telling this girl, like uh, it wouldn't be the same show without her. Yeah. But she's like, oh, like, it was a normal edit. I don't yeah, even know yeah. watch. Yeah, and Jeremy yeah. just having my that. Jeremy as well. This yeah, is the same Jeremy. Jeremy. That taste, that we taste. Are, of we the... we share a VFX editor. Oh. He's solid. So you guys know that solid. Jeremy left the uh, takeaway. There's a show, and this is now this is he is, uh, the new team. <laughs> uh, it's, it's fate lah. It is. Yeah. It's it is. fate lah. You know how Singapore though. Like you know, since we've been talking about content, I I just want to say I love the fact that you said. It was bodies of work and not content. I like how we just Sorry. start the, the show with this. That's heavy. Yeah. I love it. Bodies of work and not content. I'm going to remember that for a while. Uh, Everyone now want to make content. Everyone want to be content. virals. Like, okay, I, I, I'll use the reference of Tan Sri P. Ramli, right? Oh. You will remember his comic beat. You will remember his punch. And you will remember the movies he write for because he wrote for community. Mm. He, he didn't write to be famous, to yeah, be viral, yeah. to, to have the sensation of the moment. That's true, that's and, true. And I think there is value in being artful and intentional with things you put out. It doesn't matter that you're not putting out things every day, but if you, the thing that you do put out, people will remember, that's enough. Because oh. how many forgettable work Speaking is out there right me, now? Everything, yeah. every video that I share every day, people forget. It's painful. No, 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 I share, that I share with my friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> me no I mean also that Rachel yeah. stop it Rachel like these kind of jokes you know she like this Damn. please uh, Rachel but yes it's true it's That's true. really good insight Rizzi mm -mm. thanks like yo I'm so upset by the way because oh. y'all put down a video that uh, the other day I was like I don't know what she's again y'all put it down oh I know what you're talking about yeah we did but it's not our choice it was the cheerleader <laughs> and now uh, I loved it let's remake it lah hey. unless you just eat, ask Jeremy to VFX with someone else's face. No, we like, remake it with you. Yeah, yeah. We remake it with you. Yes, me and Mona, please. Yes, please. yes, yes. Oh my god. We we let's do it. Let's do it. We will love it. We make, oh, shit, that's we crazy. make cheerleaders re auditioning. Oh my god, you know what would be such a cool thing to do oh, doing no. things? Oh. When is your anniversary? How many years has it been this November, year? November, November. This year it's 10 years. It's 11. It's 11 years. Oh, 11 already. Too late lah. Oh, um, <laughs> but never mind, never mind. Okay, it's 10. It's 10. It's 10 years. 10 plus 1. Yeah. Let's do five remake of a video with different OG YouTube cars. Oh, shit. So you, you get old school Malaysian YouTubers to remake those videos. We didn't really call it a lot of people though. 10 types of Now is the time. Now is the time, now is the time. If you want to be even more outreaching to the Gen Z's, get, to get the Gen Z's in. Get the Gen Z TikTokers oh, on board. Oh my God. Yeah. Hey, sorry. Did that come out audibly? I think they heard it. Shit. Oh, it's so. cool. I like some of them. <laughs> Four. What was a big number? <laughs> I a, like all of them. You yeah. like- I can't like, to good. know all of them. I have to say, I mean, I don't know why we're on this topic for now, but- Mingas is great with like the Gen Z, with the TikTokers. Like he he reaches out, he connects. Look, they are great. They, they are, are talented. And I, I think if They're you fast. if you pull through the the, the the thrudges of trends and sounds and whatnot, you will find gems. You're they saying are. sift through the shit and you'll find a few good ones. I said thrudge. But <laughs> yeah, when you, you thrudge see, through- Bodies of work. This man is an artist. Yeah. <laughs> They're crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. You find gems. Uh, like in Singapore, so many good ones. Yeah. So many good ones. And, and I think- I think what they don't have as an experience that we did was the blessing of having an interface. So TikTok does everything for you. The production, yeah, the sounds. Yeah. We true. had to wrangle a team, yeah. but that's, that's how we had the freedom of creativity. We could just mobilize and the best magic can happen. But, yeah, yeah. but you know, they are trapped to it. As much as they think, oh, this is so helpful. They don't realize it's a trap. Yeah, They're yeah. confined to just like that. Whatever the interface can do. But their, their strength also plays off that, right? Because now they don't have to worry about production. 
They it's focus. cost efficient. Yeah. You know what's the damn annoying thing at this point of time? It's not clients thing. It can even be cheaper, ma. Because you're shooting on phone. Yeah. Sorry, it's a Singaporean client. It's it's normal. It's normal. Shame. Oh, people think, like this so, people okay. think if you you change your your mirrorless to a phone is a cheaper production. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. But but I mean, back on that would be, oh. I think the the strength of creators today is since production the 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 weight of production has been taken off their shoulders. They are so good at the math. They are so good at how to hack the algorithm, how to get more views, yeah. how to do this. And I find it like amazing. Who is they? Like these, all these guys, they know the like- creators? Yeah, because when 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 we they talk uh, <laughs> to each other, yeah. not to me, obviously, um, I, I would just, you know, talk and listen. They are so, so like sensitive to, this doesn't work the same anymore. We're not getting the same kind of views for this. I think I'm shadow banned here. I think if you do this, you get blocked. Yeah. So you got to tweak this, tweak this, tweak this. And they're talking about the technicalities of getting seen so much heavier than we ever cared mm. about. We, sometimes we don't even tag our videos properly, you know. Let's yeah, just put it, it really that way, like, right? Yeah. Um, and maybe, like you're right, it's the people who are in charge of the tech that are breeding a whole new species it's of It's the traffic creators. gatekeepers of algorithms. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. It really is. So you need to be great at algorithms and you will succeed in content these days. You oh, could be yeah. just the most beautiful face that had a viral window of a moment and yeah. then you're a hit now. Uh, True. I guess it's like the Instagram era la, where the hot people got views. Yeah, just and then they're models hot. for a bit, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> It's true. It's true. And I, uh, what an interesting time we're living in. Mm -mm. If you look at, uh, look, look at this sexy segue, right? If you look at um, real OGs who have done bodies of work like Michelle Yeoh. Yes. Who recently oh, are we won going there? Are African we going there? Oscar, right? Yes. Um, Congratulations. I always Congrats. say that the most high profile Malaysians around the world are Chinese Malaysians. Uh, but also the, the most high profile Malaysians <laughs> you know. are not in Malaysia. That's true. There is you know. you know. and, and you know, yeah. But they are usually not in Malaysia. Yeah. Because of how I don't want to say backwards ass we are, but but backwards, but backwards ass. ass are. I like, would say how bad. stifling yeah. the country is. You like, know? How, yeah. Yeah. I, I think a lot of people, if you guys have, have, have been on social since the uh since Michelle Yo won. Literally everything. The, 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 yeah, literally yeah. everything, right? <laughs> literally a lot everything. of a lot of people have been reposting the headlines saying that it's not our it's not our victory to claim. Really, it's not. Because it's it's not because she was in the Malaysian system mm. that brought her to success. It's because she was out of the Malaysian system mm. that she even wow. saw an opportunity for this to happen, right? I think you can apply this in Singapore as well. Really? Is yeah. that the same you guys feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Do definitely. they appreciate you more a bit when you go out of the country? You know oh. what's funny? I think Malaysians appreciate me more oh, than Singaporeans. Oh, you have no Singaporeans, you have no idea. You you think he's yeah. a national treasure in Singapore? No, actually, I'm the Malaysian actually, he's a Malaysian treasure. Guys, 2000 <laughs> and, 2016, we brought Muda and Herzi, and we just told people we 14, were going that was to 14. 2014, yeah. We're going to Kyochon one to Kyochon, you know. The place was packed up until Parkson also cannot walk. Okay. Yeah. Like, do you mad. remember that? Yeah. That was a great time. That was crazy. You guys are the best, like y'all did that. But that was that was, was wow. Is but, is is Singapore? Is it a case of we're just not appreciative of our local talent? Is that really just the case? I think so. Right? I think so. Mm. And and I, I think because it's such a big fish, small pond city, uh, you, you, your shelf life is, is quicker. Very short. Yeah. Right? And Extremely. everything is a, is a Sakok Kao Tao game. Yeah. yeah. Can you say that one more time for the kids? It's a Sakok Kao Tao game. Yeah. Uh, Sakok Kao Tao who, is actually a Thai dish. Whoever Thai dish. is more <laughs> rebellious or outspoken, that's not your city for you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an mm. obedient city to o go by what is trendy, yeah. mm -mm 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 -mm. to be beautiful, to be cute, to, to, to wear the rich things. <laughs> not mm -mm. that. You're cute though. Thank you. Hey. You're welcome. You're welcome. So like Ronnie Cheng, Michelle Yeo, yeah. Um, Finding their place outside of Malaysia, it's it's almost Henry Golding. It's almost sad, but it's the it's the truth. I think in some way because we've also seen the rise of support for the Chinese scene in Malaysia mm. because we're always talking from minority point of view. All right? our Chinese friends who are in the scene who are successful, right? Most of their support actually comes from Taiwan and like China, not not Malaysia. It's weird. Their bigger markets are all overseas, and we're like, mm. wow. If overseas international audience can recognize our talent, how come locally we're like, cannot lah, our local people so cannot. So there's a missing piece. I don't know about how it is in Singapore, but I really feel like, like I said, actually, actually, I, I, I want to be, okay, let's just try to be, uh, we cut the, the viewers some slack, right? People are very ready to, to support. Yeah. But the bridge of that relationship has not been built. And also because our government doesn't support building that bridge. Because if you think about it, right? 
the, the Chinese scene, right, has built that relationship with the audience and they've acknowledged that they will sell out a stadium, they will sell out Gunting. Yeah. Right? We, we talked about this? this in the past. So uh, there's so two many. groups, right? Two groups this just this year have sold out physical live shows. In Gunting? Ex Seattle Stadium. This, this all this kind of thing, you know. Clang. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh. It's wet. So, I, and, and, and because when, even when we, when we all were doing stuff. I don't think you're allowed stuff, to say that word. Huh? Clang's all right. Clang's all right. Clang. Clang's a place, yeah? <laughs> K- or the other one. K L A N G. I in my head for a while thinking like, I don't think he's allowed. <laughs> no. I need to tell him. Clang. Stop. Thinking <laughs> that word. Very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, but I, I will feel like that will be the thing to solve. How do we build that connection to the audience and then the support may become true? Because if anything, YouTube showed us that people actually want to support, but to what extent? But how many That's people all. want to support? <laughs> Support what? That's the question actually. No, no, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Who knows? Yeah. Maybe now different. Maybe now after MCO, people appreciate life a bit more in some sense. Yeah. In Singapore, how? How's things in Singapore? Do Singaporeans like, do, do Singaporeans claim success stories and victories for Singaporeans that aren't in Malaysia, uh, uh, aren't Singapore. in the country? Mm. Yeah. I mean, look at Joseph Schooling. Yeah. Like yeah. that guy in no way got to the gold Olympic medal from a Singaporean system. Yeah. And and then when he won, and we then celebrated like, him. Mm. And then an incident had happened recently and everyone's so quick to jump on him. Yeah. I think I think people are stupid. Lah. Oh. Uh, I think people don't know how to just appreciate Mm-mm. what truly is legacies in a timeline that usually doesn't happen. When else in Singapore was there a gold medal yeah. like that? And yeah. Yeah, people are just. I don't mm. know I, I don't know if it's a government support thing. I I can't be so sure to to pinpoint. But my point is this: if the currency is a like, share, subscribe, just to resonate your support with us, yeah, right? True, true, true. Uh, then maybe the problem is the audience. <laughs> maybe mm. the audience is getting sloppy and lazy. Yeah, and and not know that one day any of these creators can disrupt, pack their bags private all the videos and then you're like, hey, where did my childhood go? Oh, I think we should do that. I, I think, think we should do that. I, I think, think we should do that. Let's all have a mutiny. Let's all do that. Yes, do it. And it's so, clearly they don't care. I don't know hurt. Yeah, then we're like, <laughs> we're like um, I, I unlisted all my videos no, but no one knew. One of our videos, one of our videos just Shit. hit 10 million. <gasps> wow. One Which of video our videos is, is yeah. um, it's, um, is it your milk one? I wish. It's why do you love me? Like for some reason, I that, don't get that one. But our videos, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't understand why. But wow, maybe we should try to just you know pack out the bag. Hey guys, we should, great. Uh, um, and then we should remake the channel with like just five new videos. Okay, like, but to to be to to vibrate positively. Oh, okay, okay, love okay, that. Okay, okay, vibrate okay. positively. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think in, in instead of of going the sulky route, yeah, you guys are doing great. You know, you are doing that red flag thing, oh. and you doing your stand up thing. I think what it is, it's, it's, a, it's a re-evaluation of your relationship with your art and your audience. Yeah. So now there's a new way of appreciating Ming Yu and you've got to reintroduce that. Mm. Yeah. And I think as millennials, we cannot sulk at the old ways. We sound like uncles now, you know. Hey, I'm Tough so uncle. Time, right? ah, yeah, the yeah. Of time. No, f*** it. We, we, we now just have to re-adapt into what the Gen Z is going to I'm yeah. Gen Z. I don't know. I okay, let's help me. Tick tock, tick tock. You know, there was a time, right? And I'm I'm saying this not because I want to like, you know, toot my own horn or be old and hey. nasty, right? 2016 Fan Fest? Was it 16? It was you, 14 lah. No, no, 16 was Fan Fest. No, no, no. 14, you, you and Muna were on the red carpet. 14, 15. 14, 15. 14, 15. Okay. 14. Yeah. People were screaming, man. Mm. And, and I remember like, uh, Timothy Delegado was like there and stuff like that. And I was like, oh, confirm they scream for them. Then like, me, Mingha, Rafi, and Brian walked the red carpet. And we're like, oh, people don't know us. A lot of people legit screaming and like, can you sign stuff? And can you take picture of me, Ming? Like, it's a contract. Yeah. Giving your money away to oh, a give you my house. Eh. Sneaky Singaporeans in the audience. I was shocked. Sir. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Even in Jakarta, when we went for, for fan fest and YouTube actually goes the, over. Actually the Jakarta I was like, was... The, the Indonesians won't know us. Yeah. yeah. They're like, oh my God, me, I love your videos. I'm I like, think I want to encourage the uncles in us. I, I think like we've become, we are, in a, we, we, we are the uncle batch of creators oh, now where we're like doing our time. I yeah, think yeah. we That's just need been. to reinvent our authentic artistic self. So that our time is still down, right? Not just so that our time is still down, just so that people can understand, oh my God, this, this, 
people are the legacies. Yep. They can adapt themselves in any way, in any situation. And truthfully, if your art didn't have to rely on a sound or a trend, your art yeah, can yeah. translate anyhow and anywhere. Stand up. Bella's writing notes. Films. Yeah. Podcasts. Rack because up. you didn't need to wait for a trend. Yeah. I wanna didn't need to wait for a trend. Make the trend. TikTok content creator shaking right now. <laughs> no, no, no. I, yeah. I, 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 but I have to say, like, like because... I, I think the the new wave of creators are not just creative. They fill in a very big chunk of knowing how to market their content mm. that the previous eras did not know oh, how to. Oh, we didn't know how to do shit, man. Like, I, I dare say until today, even musicians still don't know how to market their content. Right? But the new TikTok musicians though, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, yeah. You know, One so, song, hey. they can make 16 TikTok videos. Mm. <laughs> it's bad. That's you, true. You, That's true. That's the thing. I don't think we 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 l- need to look at this next generation of creators or even TikTok now as a platform and go like, oh my God, like we are this, we are that. We we used to have to do it like this. We have to. No, I think we can observe what they're doing and say, ah, okay, how do I put my mathematical formula in this? Yeah. It's it's part of the game. You want to live the shelf life, you got you to gotta dribble. I, I, I think I went through that so much. There was a, I think it was maybe two, two three years ago. I went through that the initial acid reflux of TikTok. You know, I, that, I did too, You know yeah. that that like, hey, these kids, get off my lawn, right? Yeah. That kind of thing. I love it. Uh, <laughs> in Singapore, we don't have a lawn. Uh. Uh, get yeah, off you're my, doing a lot of space. Get off my what? Get out of my corridor. Mm, how why you park five your, centimeter away from my gate? Why you park at my parking? Why you no, we don't have parking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got pedestrian roads, we don't have. That's why they put a tissue paper first. But on the pedestrian? How dare you put the Tissue paper, no. Tissue paper, how do you use it? Like they put that to chop. My yeah. point being. Yes, yeah. sir. Uh, <laughs> I I felt that. I felt that acid reflux of content era, the paradigm shifting from era to era. Mm. But what really like just slapped me awake was at that same moment, I remembered our predecessors when we were starting YouTube. Our predecessors would talk to us and say like, hey, don't make videos on YouTube. No. You got no future one. No, in TV, uh, y'all cannot do this thing. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. And immediately that was the day I chose, you know what? I will <laughs> drink, <laughs> yeah. I will drink that creative magnesium hey. and just go down in the, the hole of acid reflux. Hey. And I submerged myself in TikTok and I was just like, check, check, yeah, yeah. Sheesh. Well, please don't do that. Check, check, yeah. No, stop. Yeah. <laughs> It's unnerving, right? I don't like it as well. And but but you're it a father was, of two. Yeah. She, she, you're pushing forty. Hey. <laughs> oh no <laughs> la, Don't say this. It's, it's not the next decade. Yeah. It's not me. It's the another one. Not me. It's not me. I'm not pushing forty. Who's pushing forty? So Hersey. Yes, I am. As a Singaporean, we have been just waiting for you to be here. Because don't we, bluff. We, la. we have no shut up. <laughs> we have questions. <laughs> okay. Mm. Question. Singapore has seen no lack of drama in the last two years. Hey, what's your favorite drama from 2020? It's, no, no, it's not the question. From the pandemic. From uh. the, oh, should we call it the COVID dramas? Yes, it is the COVID dramas. You know what? In, spir- in recent time, what's your favorite things? In spirituality, happened? it actually makes sense. <laughs> it's it's like, we call it Kali season uh, for many of us who- Kaling season? Kali, K-A-L-I, the goddess of destruction. Uh, the idea is disrupt, uh, destruct to birth new. That's, that's the philosophy and damn, principle damn, of Akali. Chinese phoenix. You burn the forest so like you can phoenix. grow again. Correct. Yeah. And <sighs> so these giants uh, who have been online for the longest time, that's Kali season. Na. It's an excavation of the old so new say, can say, come up. Some of, say, some. I mean, if you think about it, name me a YouTuber from our era that is still currently doing content on YouTube. Jen Hao. Jen Hao. That's fair. <laughs> that was so, Congratulations, that was so Chen Hao Tan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's so rich. Wow, I, wish, go, I wish he can give me some wow, money. Wow, that's not the same cast. Oh, wow, that's, wow, that's true. Wow, that's, that's, true. True. that's, that's true. true. That's true. That's true. So Chen Hao, but Chen Hao, like, I wish for his like, we should celebrate. We should do a party for him, a and party. then at the party, he should just like give us some money. Because like, as Chinese in Malaysia, I want <laughs> to I want to know what it's like to be a Chinese in Singapore just for like a few days. I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, you get to bully. That's fun, right? Wow, that's crazy. Unheard of. Okay, I guess the reason why I asked that okay, is sorry. for you guys uh, to notice that a whole chunk of them are gone. They're all gone. Uh, and I guess mm. what should be the follow-up question is uh, who is filling up this space? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were talking about this, right? A bit. What is that 
look like now with that I literally thought you said culling, which but is also, is also a culling. Culling. the world yeah. to cull it it's out, to right? Cull all of this. There out, has yeah. been a forced refresh. Oh, I love that. Based mm. on a few personality clashes oh, yeah. and it. mistakes oh. that we all know. But the Fresh. thing is, what is there now? Because it should be me. I should be the one. Stop. There. No, I mean, just, what is there she just now? Just try to manifest a Singaporean uh, base. I so need. I need to you? be in Singapore. Actually, Singapore doesn't know how much they need me. They really they, don't. They. Do. Like if the minute I go over, right, I'll really help them check themselves, you know. What has filled this realm of the online content sphere now? So now it's it's platform centric. There are going to yeah. be your TikTokers, mm. your Instagrammers, and then your YouTubers. On mm-hmm. Instagram, what is still successful are your beauty people. Instagram is a very, you know, superficial, like, flex yeah, platform. Yeah. Oh, it's the flex I'm game, here to yeah. flex my trip. I'm here to flex my brands. I'm here to oh, flex. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, if if in Singapore, you're an Instagram platform heavy person, mm. you're most likely a flexer yeah. uh, personality. Such a good way of putting oh. it. In TikTok, it's all these uh, younger creators who have the freedom of doing very frivolous content, easy to consume, quick, fast, and trendy. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. and, and clients are jumping onto th- uh, TikTok also. Mm. Now, the YouTubers though, now these are the guys who need an infrastructure of production, right? Yeah, yeah. So the people that are doing doing really, really well are people like Ben and Ann. Oh, Ben and Ann. Uh, people like the sit-down podcasters. Yeah, Those yeah. are doing very well. Hey, like got a lot saying, of podcasters now, uh, Singapore. Yes, everyone oh, just want to sit down and f*** up. Yeah. Oh, I see. Look, I see. like us. But, uh, we're not, but, but we, we are like not even half the numbers. Mm. We're gonna shut this down already. I'm telling you, I'm seeing it many times. See, <laughs> and uh, I think I think that's how Muna and I wanted to be authentic to our brand when we did reunion season because Epic mm. Minas was yeah. initially a vlog series. It was. It was mm. the original podcast. If you all think of it, my oh God. yeah, it really oh was. My and God. people sat through it. There was no Spotify version. There wasn't. That one. We just sat through I the really entire like video. The video four of you all just talk, but I don't know what you know. Yeah, and, and it, it it wasn't even coherent. <laughs> I know that's the best <laughs> part. So uh, when we saw that, we're like, okay, actually, our <laughs> our baby, our then baby, now has legs and arms to be this podcast. Mm. And I, I mean, here's he being here's he. I just wanted a spectacle beyond just the podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we wanted the storytelling to be front and center. Mm. And that's why we had two separate version of it. The extended version on Spotify and then the main episodes being YouTube, right? Uh, storytelling with visuals as well. Mm-mm-mm. And that's that's how I want people to understand, oh my God, storytelling is a process. Yeah. You can consume the story version on audio, Mm-mm. but when you watch it video-wise, it's a different relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want people to understand how much work and effort content creators actually put through. Mm. The same joke is different with a different VFX behind. And I'm working with the best guy. We have such a solid relationship. He's so, so easy. His name is Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah. Yeah. Familiar this name. I I stole him from you guys, apparently. Really? Apparently so. Stupid Jeremy. We couldn't count the offer because it's 3.3. We couldn't. It's Singapore. (laughs) I actually gave him the same rates as you guys. It's just just 3.3. Yeah, yeah. yeah, It's true. Makes sense. I'm there. (laughs) Actually, I don't know. I don't know. I I was just saying here, Z over lunch, that I feel like it's not easy for um, for people, let alone creators, right, to rebrand themselves consistently. I think if there's mm, one thing that mm. humans struggle with is it, there, there, there is a, there's, there's some people that you know who hold on to past glories that they cannot let go. That on their profile forevermore, they are a beauty queen from yesteryear. Oh. Right? There's always going to be those. But then there's always going to be people who are constantly open to finding who they can be and will be uh, and, and who they are tomorrow, right? And I think that's the fun part of, of maybe the era that we were in. Because right. nothing, there was no two videos yeah, yeah. that were the exact same. Yeah. Like every time you did something, every time there's a new parody, you're like, how That's do we it, there were about? many types of 10 types. Oh my Don't God. Yeah, that was different. That was different. Actually, the minute you sorry, said sorry, that, sorry, right, sorry, I'm like, sorry. I'm pretty there, sure there Singapore. Are many types no, I'm talking about ourselves, right, not, not right, the others. Right, yeah, right. yeah. There's so um, many 10 types of 10 types. No, but the, but the point I was making about uh, mm. Hirzi and, and Mula. Leave one banana alone. Hey. The but point it, I was but making. it worked. But it, it worked. Work. They're, so They're still around. And doing Jenna. many types of 10 types. Jenna yes. still do types. Correct. Maybe we are wrong. Maybe yeah. we need to start listicles once again. Every time. Every single video is I a think list. It's been, I think it's been a while. I think we can go back. We can. <laughs> we genuinely can. It's nostalgia now. It's nostalgia. The currency of, of legacy. 10 yeah. types of nostalgia. I love it. Oh, shit. No, shut up, guys. The point I'm trying to make is okay. that I don't think it's easy for people to 
um, adapt and, and, and evolve into a way that is still them, mm-hmm. but also a now. And yeah, I think I what you guys have been doing with the podcast is spot on, man. I love it. I, I like It's your identity, it's your DNA, but it's also relevant to people who know you and people who are just discovering you for the first time. Thank you. So kudos to that one. But Thank you. I just realized something, right? Yes, sir. You, are, you have reached legend status. He really has. No, you understand this. You need to understand this. You, you know what? Have. I follow JYP's rule. Okay. One year into it, you're good. Two years into it, you can last. Five years into it, not bad. But the minute you hit 10 years and onwards, right? You're, you're a legend. legend. Aww. And you close the show on 10 years only to reinvent yourself on the 11. Damn. You are here to stay. Look at you, at this sir. Point. Yeah. You're like, you know what? What? Yeah? Mean, what? Uh, like tell, what? Tell us. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's great. We need that. I think yeah, we. I think yeah, yeah, we yeah. need to take a break for a bit. We've Ooh. been we've been doing this podcast. This is episode one eight nine. You know. Mm. I think we stop. Uh. we just stop, and then we just call it a day. Uh. <laughs> Every time you say stop, you see Vivian's face. <laughs> just they like, all know it's happening. It is. I'm just saying it more and more. I think. I think. We what, stop. Right. What more creators need to do is be okay with active resting. Oh, there we are. I've actively rested Welcome from- Welcome to the next part of the podcast. I've actively rested from TMT videos for like five years. No, no, that's I what we're talking about. I feel there is such a uh, incessant need to create in a time schedule that you all need to remember you all are artists, mm. not robots. You all are not machines. You cannot generate the same quality if it's on a schedule. Art needs to cook. Art needs to marinate. Shit. And you guys create the best works sometimes in the first five. Ep- I'm not saying you guys. I'm saying the bigger you. Create the best works in the first five episodes. And then when there's a plateau, realize it's okay to step back. I constantly evaluate my bodies of work once I upload and say, okay, this is the relationship the audience have with yes, it. Yes. But most importantly, I evaluate my relationship with the body of work. I don't care anybody else's relationship with it more than myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did so- I appreciate the the full episode from minute one to minute 17. Uh, and if I feel like, nope, this is this is where I am hitting a wall and a ceiling with it. Mm-hmm. Let's breathe. Let's find inspiration and then go at it. My favorite thing to do is that people's Instagram bio, what they put on it. <laughs> oh, let's do a review. <laughs> let's do a quick review. My favorite thing is like, you know how, how you say someone will hold on to the beauty queen of yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's two types of, of things oh, that you, you- Let's hear it. If you notice, right, it's, it's very much a, You gotta remember, what you put in your bio is what you feel is your worth. Yeah. And sometimes people take themselves way too seriously. Oh no, I haven't updated my CEO COVID. of, you know, blah, blah, correct, blah. Correct, correct. And sometimes it shows how precious you are holding on to something. And sometimes it shows how frivolous you are to holding on to something. Let's go check out her. Is this one first? For example, yeah. someone can say, TikTok, X, X, X thousand followers. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. And to me, right, I'm like, why? Because I can find out that, that, yeah, that information like, myself. It's, it's, I can, it's easily accessible. But to me, it's like, my question is, is that all you think your worth is? Oh, numbers? Your numbers. Versus your art. And then the person who has had that old achievement holds on to that. I say, tell me about your personality. Give me two lines, which immediately is like, oh my God, that is his brand DNA. Wow. I've done it. I, I just, this I just, is great. And I just, that will last you the legacy years. I just changed mine. So this is Herzi's one. <laughs> Moving the needle one sassy punchline at a time. Singapore's national treasure, the pride of Nusantara. Thank you. Yeah. What's yours, Mia? You, you wrote that yourself. I didn't, yeah. 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 Mine well, is, I recently changed it earlier on I, this year. Me too. Uh, mine, I used to be, I, I used to struggle with like entrepreneur, personality, entertainer, and then social contact creator. Now yeah. it's Ming Yu, grocery store. Caught you staring from a bowl. Fresh produce is down this aisle. Oh, he, immediately I get rapper. Immediately I get urbanist. Yeah. Uh, urban market. Slay. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. And um, that I get your sense of comedy as well. Yeah, I'm whack. 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 Let's, let's, let's normalize it. Let's normalize it. Ming, you're Ming, not, you're Han, whack, Ming Han's changing you it like now. Ming Han, read Ming Han's now before Ming it's Han's changed. Ming Han's one is... He's changing it now. Read he now. is. He really is. Let me just quickly catch him with his pants down. He's safe already. You're too late. Three ladies call me daddy. That's crack. <laughs> that's crack. <laughs> Immediately, we get that comedian. Yeah, yeah. Immediately, we get he thinks he's sexy. He does. 
Yeah. Uh, I've, I I honest to damn. goodness. Feel sexy. Digital creator, three mm. ladies call me daddy. I feel liberated from the need to feel sexy. sexy. Oh, yeah. that's great. Yeah. yeah. Freedom. Freedom from attachment Freedom is so is, important. Is, that's wow. That's a great line. That's a great line. Yeah. What? No, okay. Basically, with the, with the bio, right? Yeah. Uh, hopefully, when a stranger Oops, from Hollywood spots you, oh, usually they know that, immediately yeah. what you do. Yeah. They know the flavor of what you do. But most importantly, they know the intention of what you do. Love it. So like moving the needle one sassy punch yeah. at a time. That's your goal. That's your mission. What? You know, <laughs> I, I, I want to run with the flag and, and like, you know, make sure content speaks. I honestly, when I create, I don't create for anyone else except for five-year-old Hirzi. Yes. I want five-year-old Hirzi to see this piece of work and then he says like, oh my God, we, we have a place in society. Mm, uh, yeah. So if any other people resonate with five-year-old Hirzi, great for you. Mm. But- Thanks for turning off the aircon, guys. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I don't answer to anyone anymore but yeah. myself. And mm, it's liberating. That should be the case. Freedom I, of attachment. I do have a very similar principle. Like, I think a lot of people are very intention slash goal oriented with the things they put online, right? And, and it may be like to optimize my sales here, optimize the interaction here, op or like, you know, make this better here and there. But I, because I, maybe we were born pre-Instagram era, pre-internet era, I always have to remind myself this was fun. You fun. will never know who I am based on just my Instagram. Like, I, I don't feel a need to take me seriously online. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, like there is so, the, the five-year-old Ming will be like, just have fun. Ah. Yeah. Like, why why you want to be so serious yeah. On, yeah. On, on, on internet like, pictures? Like, this cannot be your worth. Right? But which is a bit anti-culture, but what? But I do enjoy it. Like yeah, it's great. Do like, things for yourself first. I think yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. best lesson. Because yeah, yeah, even if you're a dad, even if you you become a husband, I think do things for yourself yeah, first. Yeah, for sure. Mm. And then everything else becomes very authentic yeah. and purposeful. But but I like the fact that you say that you know that your bio tells you a lot about yourself because when we mm. were in COVID, I swear that everything was just aimed to like you know what if someone if a client so happens to read my bio, I want them to feel the credibility of getting us as a team. Yeah. So it really did that whole bio experience taught me a lot about what am I gunning for online. Yeah. Right. Because you will put what you want to be recognized as in, in to some degree. Yeah. Right. So yeah, guys, go and see your Instagram. You know, uh, check yeah. and see Set where you are. Set your intention on your bio now. I'm very Start wow. manifesting the person you truly are inside and will be. Get that manifestations going. I just want to sure. read a few of them. Like our showrunner is- Muna, let's read Muna's. No, Vivian, Vivian's title is, my name is not Yuling. Damn. Vivian. Who? It's a, it's a, it's a reverse identity. At thing. Makan Roti Club. That's okay. basically and some of our- she will our never team. be Yuling. How dare you? Mm, damn. Yeah, yeah, that's, really? that's, that's true. That's true. But- Wow. Such a beautiful conversation, guys. I, 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 I didn't great. even know it was going to go there this- this morning when I wake up. But Bella's one is crazy. Yeah. Bella is a circus. Just circus. By grace through faith. But she's a circus. By grace through faith. Damn. I love it. But yeah, guys, uh, this has been Herzy for a really great unplanned, unscripted episode. Wow. Um, Herzy, give people a little taste of what you have in store. June. Tell them about June. Oh, what's... Wait, wait hold on. Sorry. In oh. June uh -huh. will be our birthday. It's Ming's so birthday. Please, it's my birthday to you, moron. Oh, who sorry. Don't oh, know. shit. Your uh, birthdays. So please give us birthday present. Oh. And you will know what to give us when we drop further information. So stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe. We Wait. really will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm already working on it. So it's going to happen. It this will. Is, this it is. is, a, this is a, it has happened. It's it, the spiritual yeah. language. This is a, a good tidbit for those who actually stay to the end of the podcast. Oh, damn. You guys. Um, so if you know, you know. You know? Yeah, and don't come to me and say, oh my God, I missed it out again. So sorry, can you do another one? No. This time. Sorry. No. Mm -hmm. You're Just ugly. one. I guess. You're ugly and, and late to the game. <laughs> and um, You just have no love. Okay. Your mother wonders. What? No, sorry, too far. Sorry. I'm don't glad. Don't mother. I thank you so much for being here. Yay. Thank you guys oh for goodness. having me. This was such an unexpected yeah. podcast, but it's also great. It's where we are right now. You need it's to, the start of the season, man. You need to drag Muna here the next I time. Feel oh like, my God. I feel like if I studied every appearance on this podcast, 
You will oh, see the shift man. and here is oh it. Oh my and gosh. So Should we do a compilation for you? Yeah, yeah. The it's teaser so will be uh, wow. take away. Remember when we sat at that table and you yeah. were smelling shoes and shit? Yeah. Mm. yeah. Oh my god. Remember the Andrew series who says, uh, there's there's 24 hours in a day. You know, oh. if if you think yeah. you don't have enough time, what's wrong with you? Oh. I don't relate who's to that, that Hughes that, anymore. Right? I cannot. I'm like, actually, you need to rest. <laughs> you know, your skin all tired, uh. your body all start to suffer. Uh. So, nipples start to sag, you know. Who knows what, what can happen to you? I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It's quite wild. Let it's us know if you understand for those it. Who, you know, who you who. will grow. Yes. Oh, you shit. will become a different person from now on. Yes. But just be present in the damn, moment. Damn. Just be okay with that. It's okay because the only constant thing in life is change. And chaos. And, and death. Texas. And you know. And birth. Because it happens. And. and, and diarrhea. That one will happen to everyone. Regardless of state. Status. Class, religion. I want belief. to know who has never had diarrhea yet. Yeah, I'm you sure just let us be. know. You Let's just let us know. Reach no. out to us. You want to find out. We want to have maybe a have a session How with you. you. Mm. Yeah, and but then, I'm sure there are kids that have died and then like didn't get diarrhea. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. <sighs> no, lah, because like the the, the, time, sampai, the, sampai. the timeline is to <laughs> to survive life without getting diarrhea, yeah. and the shortest timeline possible is when you're a kid or an infant. And it's true. They haven't had diarrhea, la. so then they win, lah. No, not know. win, sorry. I don't know. I think oh, bye, 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 everyone. We need to just roll the outro, man. You quick, quick, roll it.